So we've said before, Mahaka, it's, it's a very quiet, laid back holiday resort. Um, great if you want it in just a, a chilled out, peaceful beach holiday. Saying that though, there is plenty to do. And one of the things that we always do when we go to Mecca is enjoy a round of mini golf. Um, wow. Reasonably cheap, <laughs> so like five euros per person. Um, out there overlooking the sea. The course isn't, you know, in the best of Nick. It's Three, certainly right. a little fine. bit weathered, a little bit tired in places, but it's good fun for all that play. We, only, we normally go on an evening or on a night when it's a bit cooler. Uh, and then they'll put the floodlights on. Oh, that was so close. But no, it's, uh, it's a good laugh. There's a little uh, drink stall there, so you can get a nice cold drink, some snacks, some crazy sweets, things like that. Um, Oscar's actually really good at mini golf. He, out of all of us, he's the one that ends up with the most holes in one. There he is, Chris. Time is, you know, racing games, shooting games, um, win lots of bit, tickets, bit of air hockey here, which is something that we're all very competitive at. Um, we've got one of those little mini fucking Bronco things that Oscar used to go on when he was little. There's a snack bar there so you can get drinks, a little something to eat, a um, little popcorn machine the kids can use. Obviously, if you've got to pay for it. But it's a good place to spend a couple of hours, spend a bit of money, and have a bit of fun. go in the world there's always an Irish bar and the hackers no exception so here we have the Irish Rover which is just overlooking the sea um, nice enough place nice food nice drinks cocktails for Joe as you can see they've got a little arcade place for the kids we've also got air hockey pool tables things like that we did go here a few years ago only once um, Junior, and he wasn't keen on it because of the uh, clown entertainers that they had. But we fast forward a few years, and here we have Joe enjoying the entertainment. Oh, 
So here we are just coming into Garusha, which is sort of like the next town along. And this is the Fisherman's Monument. Uh, Garusha, it's like I say, it's an old town uh, with origins back to the 16th century and was founded by fishermen who were trying to protect themselves from pirates. There's a nice promenade that runs the length of the town, big wide beaches, nice clear waters. Now Garusha is home to the large port and that's where you get all the big cargo ships coming in. Apart from that, you've also got a small fishing fleet that's based there. And there's also about 300 moorings for leisure boats. saying Oscar? Yeah. <laughs> you word. So there's loads of bars, restaurants, shops, that type of thing down on the front. One of the places where we always seem to go every time we go through Garusha is this little restaurant called La Cantina de Fleur. Really good reviews on TripAdvisor and if you go, you can see why. Um, Oscar usually plays it safe. He has milkshakes, pancakes, that type of stuff. Um, me and Joe were on the cocktails, the cafe bonbons, which is coffee with Baileys and condensed milk, and the salads, yep, yeah, salads are amazing. Goat's cheese, serrana ham, figs, all that type of stuff. <laughs> Good pancake? Yeah. Uh, back in Mahaka, down on the beach, there's a, a lovely little shack there um, called Samoa Surf. The lady Anita speaks many, many languages and you can even book the beds via WhatsApp. Um, so this day she was renting out her little boats and Oscar really wanted to go on them. So James said he would because obviously with my knee I can't get up. Will they fall in before they get in? Oscar's done this twice before, but James has never done this. He picked a good day though, it's nice and calm. Good start, nobody's cat sized. Oscar really enjoyed the experience. James not so much. He had to stop paddling as he thought he was going to throw up because he is seasick. Well done, ahead. Oscar, for all the paddling. Yeah, I never actually thought for one minute that you'd end up feeling sick on a canoe because, like you can see, there isn't really much in the way of waves. But oh god, after about ten minutes on there, yeah, it suddenly hit me, and I thought I'm going to vom, but I didn't, and I was fine. I got back without chucking up. Can 
can't believe they're gonna stop me that way. Back on the beach after all that paddling and the boys needed some cold drinks. Now Samoa Surf do have an old fridge but there is no electricity so they pack it full of ice so everybody can have drinks all day long. So this is back at Ozone Bowling. So like I said, it's underneath where we used to stay at Best in Deloitte Apartments. Uh, it does get quite busy. So I would say it is worthwhile booking a lane. Um, but if not, like, like you saw before, there is arcades and air hockey, things like that to be playing on while you're waiting for your go. favourite to come out. So one of the places that we always go to when we're staying in Mahaka is the water park called Aqua Vera which is in Vera Playa. Now, one of the places that we've heard loads of good things about and really wanted to visit for the last few times we've been going is... Sawadee. Sawadee, that's the one. And that's upon the Val de Este Golf Resort, so just out of Vera. And it's a Thai restaurant which serves absolutely amazing food. Uh, luckily, we had hired a car because you cannot get there via bus at all. It's not near the sea. It is up out of the way where everything is just so green and fresh. But it is really quiet. Um, everybody in Mahaka recommends it, so we thought we'd uh, give it a go. We didn't know how far it was going to be from the main road. It turned out it was only a 10-15 minute drive from the main road. But as you can see, there is just a lot of mountains around. Uh, absolutely stunning and when you get there they were really friendly the food was absolutely delicious if you ordered spicy it was spicy if you wanted it a little bit blander um, for the children it was my favorite was the half a pineapple which was stuffed with rice sultanas and prawns oscar ate everything followed up with a delicious cheesecake that seems to be his new favorite on holidays 
So because we had the car this time, it did make getting around a lot easier. So we decided to venture up to Vera Pueblo, so the town. Uh, beautiful little town, lots of nice buildings. They've got a nice ornate church, town hall, big square where everybody seems to gather and all the locals have coffees, little hard drinks. Still too hot, are you okay now? So you can see the square where we've sort of like focused our visit on um, and there's lots of palm trees, orange trees everywhere, nice water fountain. Um, the day we went is when they actually had the market on. So we managed to pick up a couple of bits from there for Oscar, so some cheap t-shirts, trainers, but it was so hot the day that we went. So we had to find a nice little bar and stop off, have a couple of drinks. So Vera Bull Ring or Plaza de Toros was built in 1879 and it is actually the oldest bull ring in the province of Almeria. Still used today, uh, not so much for bullfighting but for fiestas and local cultural displays, things like that. The bull ring did fall into a state of disrepair um, but after a restoration project was reopened on the 25th of September 1997. Also at the bull ring is a museum which obviously celebrates history of bullfighting and bullfighting in this particular area. Museum's free to get in and is definitely well worth a visit. <laughs> 